Hey guys, it's Pierre from Julio Designs. In this video, we're going to learn how to create uh, this uh, very popular glass effect, uh, which uh, you can see on uh, modern websites, uh, as well as uh, all of the recent uh, dribble shots. We, the, it's also quite an easy effect uh, to achieve, uh, and uh, you can actually do it in uh, just a few steps. So let's uh, get started. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to go on Figma, and uh, we're going to add uh, a few of these apps shapes uh, in the background in order to really make uh, this effect uh, clear and stand out. Now the next step is simply going to create uh, a rectangle which uh, is going to be the base for our glass card. We're also going to give it a little bit of a corner radius in order to make uh, the edges more smooth and uh, we're going to change the color to white. Now the glass effect is mainly composed of this effect right here which is the background blur and if you go under the effects you can find it here in the drop down and what we want to do is to reduce the opacity on the fill and not on the layer because otherwise the effect won't work as you can see since we're at 100 percent the moment that uh, we reduce uh, <clears throat> the opacity on uh, this layer, you can see that uh, we can sort of hint uh, the background blur, which composed the glass effect. But what we want to do is to essentially make this uh, even more pronounced because by default, the background blur is going to be at four. So if we increase it to say something around the lines of uh, 25, uh, you can see how this uh, is uh, really starting uh, to take uh, shape. You can also start experimenting with uh, gradient. So as you can see, we're going to have this, uh, uh, this nice uh, gradient, which uh, makes the whole composition uh, look uh, even more interesting and alive and to really make uh, the uh, card stand out. We're also going to want to add uh, a stroke which uh, is uh, going to give us a little bit more um, perception of depth and uh, as, as uh, we went through the gradient uh, just a moment ago want to do the same also for the stroke. So as you can see we're going to have this, uh, this basic effect. Uh, we can play around with uh, the stroke uh, opacity but uh, for the very most part uh, we have uh, the the base uh, going we could also change uh, the linear gradient position based on uh, the lighting that uh, we want to simulate uh, for this uh, scenario but uh, for the time being we're probably just going to keep it uh, <clears throat> around these lines right here now it's time to add uh, the text which uh, it's going to be over here. I'm just going to write uh, the text. I'm probably going to go with uh, Montserrat for this one, and uh, which, by the way, it's a free Google web font, uh, so you can actually download it and follow along uh, for free. Probably going to give it a little bit of more uh, weight uh, to it, uh, and also some uh, letter spacing just to mix things up and uh, make it more interesting. Then I'm going to add uh, the name over here. And uh, of course, if you want to simply mimic uh, uh, a regular credit card, uh, you can go in and you know add uh, uh, fictional numbers and you know all those things. Uh, so going to leave the link uh, to the website, uh, science.com, and uh, going to reduce uh, the size uh, and make it uh, uh, all caps uh, with uh, this other option right here. All right, so we have the base uh, for this card. Now one extra touch which uh, is uh, really going to make uh, this uh, whole card effect and glass effect uh, really uh, bring it to the next level is uh, by using uh, this uh, tool, which I'm going to use a rectangle first. Uh, and then we're going to apply the noise with this plugin, which uh, is a free plugin you can find on the Figma community. And if you don't know how to install plugins, feel free to check out the other videos dedicated fully to plugins and also my favorite plugins, which might be useful. 
And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to simply apply this uh, to this layer. So once I have the layer selected, simply click on plus. Uh, and uh, yeah, you you can essentially change this up, uh, you know, as you as you prefer. And uh, yeah, just one layer is going to be enough. And I'm going to basically put this uh, over the card and uh, I'm going to change uh, the layer to overlay so that as you can see this uh, layer is not going to uh, be fully uh, opaque but it's, it's going to have this layer style i'm also going to change uh, the corner radius similarly to what we did with uh, the previous one and then i can uh, always just reduce uh, the opacity of uh, this effect and as you can see we have this nice uh, frosty glass uh, effect uh, applied uh, to this uh, element. So this is pretty much it uh, when it comes uh, to creating this uh, glass uh, UI in uh, Figma. Very simple, very easy to do. So feel free to do it uh, yourself on your very next uh, project and I'll see you in the very next video.